All right, guys, Kazoo 71 here on Ark Survival Evolved on my Aberration playthrough for beginners. Let me state that again. Beginners, not you experienced players. So a few episodes ago, I tamed a Reaper at level 15. I was told by someone who's really good on Aberration that no matter what the level is of the Reaper Queen, the health should be the same, about 46, 47. So I'm going to test that out. So I skipped all the stuff of me wandering around trying to find a Reaper. I want to just kind of bring you back to where I'm at with the Reaper Queen. And as you can see, I found one of these plants. This is a really great spot to find one because I can just get by this plant right here and heal if I get beat up. So I don't have trouble trying to find one. And there's a Reaper Queen right there. She is level 70. So we're going to lead her back to this plant down here. I'm going to fight her down here. That way I can heal afterwards and I know exactly where I'm at. So she should follow me down, and there she is. So we're going to just ahead and beat her up a little bit, guys, and uh, we should be good with this. It should be pretty simple. Now what I'm going to do, so you guys know, if you didn't watch the other one, I'm using a rock drake. I'm going to beat her up with the rock drake until her health is below 1,000. Um, I was told it's below 2,000. I don't know. Below 1,000 is what I was uh, read before. So we're going to take her down to below 1,000. Once she's at that level, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a sword while I'm still on the rock drake. And I'm going to hit her. And that's going to aggro her on me instead of the rock drake. So once she's aggroed on me instead of the rock drake, she'll stab me with her tail, impregnate me with the xenomorph. And then we'll have a baby reaper queen or king. So I'm um, just going to keep beating her up. As you can see, I'm just checking my health and everything as we go. And uh, not too bad. I mean, um, you can see my health in the top right. I'm a little poison from her, but not too bad at all. And my health is doing good. I have an extra radiation suit in case I break one. Or in case something happens and I make a stupid mistake like I step in that element river right to the right of me. But I shouldn't. I'm, I'm being really careful this time. I was trying to find a higher level one. This is when I was doing this recording. And this is the highest level one I could find, unfortunately. I found like a 20 and then I found this one. I could not find a 150 or 100 or plus. I was looking. So you see I got her health down, way below half now. It doesn't take that long, just work on your rock drake, level up your um, your stamina, your health, and your melee, and you should be good to go. Yeah, um, I recommend getting one rock drake that you just do for these. If you're doing the um, diving into the rock drake trench to steal eggs, man, I would uh, level up the health and the stamina. That way you got a lot of stamina and you can get in there and get out of there quick. Um, yeah, I'm not so worried about fighting down there. I try not to fight in that rock great trench. These guys, I gotta fight. So I wanna take them down and I wanna get this. And I'll show you guys, as you can see, it looks kinda, kinda glowy, purpley, pinky down here because I'm in the radiation zone. Um, but you really have no idea what color these guys are until you, until they born because no matter what color the queen is that you're fighting, the, it can come out a different color. So as you can see the health's way down there. So now what I'm going to do is pull up my sword, and I'm going to hit her with the sword. Try to hit her in the head here. And did she miss? Come here. There we go. I think I got her that time. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I got her aggroed on me now. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I got to turn my light off. You got to have your light off, guys. Make sure your light is off. Clap your hands, turn your light off. If you got a light pad on you, I did have a light pad on me. That's why it wouldn't attack me. And now she should get me here. Let's see. I'm hitting her with a pick. Come on, get me and quit getting a rod drink. Probably haven't hit her yet. So the clap turns the light pit on and off, by the way, if you didn't know, that's why I just mentioned that. So I'm gonna hit her again here, making sure her health goes up. There we go. Should be good now. She should be aggroed on me. This one's annoying. She's being picky. a little glowy thing come on get me she's still on the rock drake so I'm waiting I gotta make sure her health goes up a little bit there she goes she got me yay cool good to go I just get back on my rock drake and I let her go underground and disappear I don't really care about her anymore um, some people on these uh, official servers and you know other unofficial servers make traps and trap them. I don't really care about that thing. Uh, we got her. So we're going to go ahead and heal a little bit. I'm going to throw some healing in me. 
guys can hear if you got your headphones on you should be able to hear the heartbeat when it's really down low hear that that's crazy all right and my rock drake is healing so i'm gonna go ahead and force feed my rock drake i'm not gonna show you guys that now you can see at the bottom right i'm impregnated impregnated and you can see that it has a little in parentheses that has zero so as you go up what you got to do is you got to kill stuff and as you kill stuff you'll get that up to 75 75 is the max you can go that means your baby will gain 75 levels so my level 70 baby is going to gain 75 levels and be a 145 if i do everything correctly so as i kill stuff you know watch this you'll see on the bottom right watch that level it's gonna jack up a little bit here and there and i'm gonna skip forward and show you guys we'll hit it up a few levels and then i'll skip forward to when i get it to 75. But you see it went up to like one there so you got to get that 75 bigger stuff you kill the better it's going to be i don't know why i grabbed that egg i don't need that egg make sure you turn your light back on too that's why i, the, I got attacked by the seekers i turned my light back on and clapped again so um the rock um, reaper queen will not impregnate you guys if you have a light pet on so make sure you turn it off all right all right so just sitting there a little bit and it got an earthquake going we're going to head up and like i said i'm just going to skip forward here i'm not going to show you guys all this because i don't want to bore you to death but kill stuff um someone recommended you can kill stuff off the drake i don't i don't think it makes much of a difference just kill stuff on the drake let the drake kill them you get the levels no matter what so it's going to go into that reaper queen baby that's our reaper king baby all of them are reaper kings you don't birth reaper queens that'd be cool if you could and you could breed them maybe so anywho as you can see let's see let's hit this one up watch that level got a couple of levels there so just kill stuff anything will work it doesn't have to be down here in the radiation zone i'm just heading up and killing stuff as we go um the more the better the quicker it goes and then these guys will be here we go let's get forward level 75 there i'm in the blue zone i already got up to the top as you can see and this is where I tamed one of those uh, baryonyx that I showed you guys in the last episode. The uh, another, it was, I don't know, maybe I put it in there. It was one of them. I think it was the first one I grabbed, and that's what made me do these guys. This was recorded before I recorded those baryonyx, but I just want to switch gears last week. So going forward a little bit here, here we are. We are about one minute, less than one minute. I want to show you guys the belly. Take off my uh, armor there so you can see the belly sticking out, ready to pop out. Now, I am using superstructures um, as a mod. I'm using the awesome spyglass, and I'm also using Dino Storage version 2. The last Reaper Queen I showed you guys, I turned off my newborn trap. I forgot to turn off the newborn trap on this one. So if you have the newborn trap, you do not need the pheromones that I have in my zero slot in my um, HUD. So because the newborn trap will pick it up, that's what the Dino Storage version 2 It'll pick it up and it will imprint it in instantly and you won't have to worry about the pheromones. So, But I did show you guys in the last one, two episodes ago, if you want to see how to do this without a mod, go watch that video. You'll see exactly how to do it. You're going to eat those pheromones and then you got to just imprint on the baby real quick. So as soon as the baby pops out, we will get lost enough. Actually, I, thought, I forgot I had the newborn trap on. I actually looked for about five minutes trying to figure out where the heck that baby went. I thought maybe it glitched in the floor or outside or something. It was pretty funny. So, but we are getting close. Close. Look at that big belly. I got the belly. Trying to get a good image so you guys can see it. There's really no good image. I, this is the K mode orbital camera on PC. I don't know what the orbital camera is on PlayStation or, or Xbox or Switch, but there you go this is regular regular mode i could have switched to third person that might help too but it doesn't really work that well so four seconds to go here we go he's almost there and you hear that little creep that was the newborn trap picking it up i didn't hear it because i was paying attention to the a bursting out of my belly thing but the newborn trap picked it up instantly when it came out so if you're using dino storage version 2 and you have a newborn trap on it will pick it up you won't have to worry about it like i just did and you want to do the stupid stuff like i'm trying to do right now and getting lost trying to figure out what happened to my baby my baby is in the trap so once i figured that out came over here to the trap as you can see and there it is so i'm gonna grab this and i'll show you guys what it looks like like i said you really don't know what colors they are until they are born 
So we're going to take a look at this thing, and as you will see, it's probably the ugliest thing I've ever hatched on Ark. It's just ugly. It's brown ugly. I mean, it, it looked like poop. So it's a poop reaper. Maybe I'll name it poop. I'm joking. It's not really not that ugly. It's ugly. No, it's, it's seriously ugly. That other one was purple and cyan. This one's just poop colored. Let's see. Check it out. Let's look at it. Look at it. It's just a normal old color, man. I don't like that color. So, but anyway, level 70. It's 145 when it hatches, as you can see. Can't breed them, so pointless to worry about the levels. You just need to try to find you a 150 one down there. That way, when you put them 75 levels into it, you get a, one, a 225, right? And then what you can add is 75 more levels, so you end up with a 300 one. That's about the best you're going to do. There is no official anymore, by the way, so I can't say official, but if you're playing single player, let me put it that way. Unless you up your levels. You can always up your levels. But if you're playing on the standard settings, 300 is the highest it's going to be after you do all the levels and everything. So, but there you go, guys. Let's just jump forward here to when it turns from a baby to an adolescent or juvenile. Bam, there you go. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.